Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS Adam programming. So we are taking a look at some of the examples wherein we will have to create derived records as part of Adam BDS creation. So in this video, we will see a scenario where we will have to create new records to hold the maximum value across post baseline record for each of the parameters within a subject. Now let us move to the description. So let us say that we have a TFL shell, so as shown in the screen below. So which summarizes the result and change from baseline at each visit and maximum value post baseline as shown in the screenshot. So here if you see, we have baseline week 2, week 4, week 8, week 24 and then maximum value seen during post baseline period. So at each of these visits, so we are summarizing the result which is our analysis result. And then we are summarizing it in terms of n, mean, st and at the same time we are summarizing change from baseline. So all these non-highlighted rows correspond to actual visits happening on the study. But this is a conceptual visit and it is being presented as a time point along with the collected visit. So when we have these kind of scenarios so when creating analysis data sets, we need to, uh, maybe let's scroll with the description given here. So for the derived data sets to be analysis ready, so we need to identify the maximum value observed during post baseline period. So that, that's what we need to do when creating analysis data set. But at the same time, we also need to decide on how to organize the analysis data set to accommodate this maximum post value post baseline record. So in Adam implementation guide, so there are certain rules that guide a user on when to add an analysis data point as a row or when to add it as a column. So one of the records corresponding to the week 2, 4, 8 or 24 would become maximum value post baseline. So whether to in create a flag to identify that record or whether to create a new record to store the result is guided by one of the rules in Adam implementation guide that is rule 3. So it, the rule 3 says a function of one or more rows within the same parameter for the purpose of creating an analysis time point should be added as a new row for the same parameter. So here maximum value post baseline is considered as a conceptual analysis time point. So it says when we have to have these kind of conceptual, conceptual time points, so those rows should be added as new rows for the same parameter. So we need to apply rule 3 for this scenario and add new rows for the same parameter. So in this lesson, we will see how to identify the maximum value and append that record to the parent data set. And we will also see the usage of dtype variable to identify the newly created derived rows at data set level. So let us now move to the specification. So here we have the specification given for ADT, param, param CD, param n, eval, a visit, a visit n and dtype. So for ADT, we are being asked to extract the date portion from VSDTC and convert it to numeric value. And for param, we are being asked to concatenate the values of VS position, VS test and VS STRESU. So for VS position, we are being asked to convert it into proper case before concatenation. And at the same time for VS STRESU, we are concatenating an open parenthesis before it and closing parenthesis after it. So that the unit will appear within the parenthesis in the param variable. And then for param CD, it says if VS position is equal to sitting and VS test CD is equal to SysBP, then set to STSBP. Else, if VS position is equal to sitting, but VS test CD is equal to DIABP, then set to ST DBP. DBP for diastolic blood pressure, SBP for systolic blood pressure. And this ST is used, being used as a prefix for position sitting. And then we have paramen. So it says if param CD is equal to ST SBP, then set to 1. Else, if param CD is equal to ST DBP, then set to 2. For eval, we are being asked to directly copy the values from VSSTRESN. And then for A visit, the derivation seems to be split into two sections, section A and section B. So section A is meant for source records. So if VS.visit is equal to screening, then set the A visit value to screening. Otherwise, 
convert the visit variable values to proper case and then assign it to a visit and then there is a point v which says create a new record for each parameter within a subject to hold the maximum value across all post baseline records so as seen in the description so we have to create this additional set of records for each subject and parameter by using the maximum value across all post baseline and then append it to the parent data set if there exists more than one record with maximum value pick the record with the earliest date and then on this newly created record set to maximum value post baseline so we will have to populate the a visit value on the newly created row as maximum value post baseline and for a visit and it says for source records copy the value from visit num variable to a visit and on the newly created record holding the maximum post baseline record uh, value we are being asked to set it to 99 and for d type so it says set to maximum on the newly created record holding the maximum value which means it is it will have null value on the source records now let us move to the programming aspect so here on the left hand side i have my sas program and on the right hand side i have my input data sets and also the intermediate data sets that are getting generated out of the code and final the output data set so here i am using my vital science data set as input and then creating a data set called vs01 so let us take a quick look at the vs data set that we are using here so we have diastolic blood pressure and systolic blood pressure for two subjects 1001 and 1002 across different visits so these are considered as source records so we are adding derived variables on the source records in this step so we are creating param cd param and other variables here so let us go one step at a time so here in this lines of code we are creating the param cd variable and param n variable so as per the specification so we were asked to check whether vs test cd is equal to systolic blood pressure and position is equal to sitting in that case we were asked to populate stsbp in param cd and at the same time we were asked to use one when param cd is equal to stsbp so we are deriving param n and param cd in the single step using do group processing and then we are doing same processing for diastolic blood pressure and we are checking if vs test cd is equal to diabp and position is equal to sitting if that is the case so then we are assigning the text st dbp to the param cd variable and assigning the number two to param n variable and then we are creating our param variable so as per the specification we were supposed to convert the vs position values to proper case before creating it so we are uh, converting that here to proper case and then concatenating it with the values present in vs test and then concatenating the unit values within parentheses here so we'll have param created with this line of code and then for adt we were asked to convert and extract the date portion from vsdtc we are doing that using sub str function here the first 10 characters are being extracted in vsdtc the first 10 characters would correspond to the date value and then we are extracting that date component and then converting it into numeric form numeric value using input function and yymmdd 10 dot in format and then we are creating eval variable as per the specification it was simply a copy of vsstresn so we are handling that using an assignment statement and then for a visit n so it was simply a copy of visit num so we are assigning that for a visit we needed minor modification for screening so wherever the visit was screening so we were asked to set the value of screen screening to the variable a visit otherwise we were asked to convert it into proper case the values from visit variable of sdtm were supposed to be converted to proper case so we are handling that here and for the newly created variable date variable adt we are applying a format of date 9 here and then next comes our derived maximum value record so before that let us take a quick look at our vs02 data set and then see how our newly created variables are looking like so here these are the variables still our uh, which are present in source data set we use so, and we have added these derived variables param cd param param and adt eval a visit a visit n and i think uh, we were supposed to take a look at vs01 so, 
So it is the same uh, and we didn't pull treatment star date into VS01 yet. So VS02 we'll see in a while what was the step done. So we have created our derived variables in for the source records. So let's see what is being done in the next step. So derive maximum value record. So here in order to pull the maximum value post baseline record, we needed to have the treatment start date available for each subject. The treatment start date is available in terms of RFSTDTC demographic data set. So here we have U sub JD and RFSTDTC values. RFSTDTC in this example reflects our treatment start date. So we are converting this RFSTDTC into a numeric date value called TRTSTT here by extracting the date component from it and then converting it into numeric format and then keeping only U sub JD and TRTSTT. And then we are pulling this treatment star date from DM01 data set into vital signs 01 data set where we had derived variables created. So by merging VS01 and DM01 at subject level. So if we take a look at VS02 now along with the already derived variables so we will now have additional variable called TRTSDT populated. Now we will be able to check whether a record is actually post baseline or not by comparing ADT with TRTSDT. For that reason we are pulling TRTSDT into our VS01 data set. And then the next step what we are doing here is we are creating a data set called max01 by using VS02 as input. So and we are doing that in the proc sort procedure. So at the when creating this max01 we are only taking the records where ADT is greater than treatment star date. So which means only the records which occurred after treatment star date are being considered. So as per the definition so we were asked to consider the records which are only post baseline that can be filtered using this condition and then the result shouldn't be non-missing. So the result should be non-missing. So we are filtering only for those records where eval not is equal to missing. Here if we see uh, we are sorting the records based on subject ID, paramen, eval and then descending ADT. So what would happen with this sort order is all the records of a subject would come together and then within the subject all the records of a paramen would come together. And if we have more than one record within a paramen, the record with lowest value on paramen would come on top. And if we have more records with the same value in eval variable, so we have given preference for ADT but in descending manner. So when we use the descending keyword before a variable, what will happen is the date with highest value would come on top. So we have sorted the records in this way for a reason. So as per the specification, we were asked to use the record with highest eval but if there exists more than one record with the highest eval, uh, result value. So we were asked to give preference for earliest date. So here our record with highest result value would be present as the last record within each parameter of the subject. So but we are also ensuring that if there exists more than one record with the same highest value in a while. So we are giving preference for the descending ADT which means the date with earliest date would come at the end. So if we now pick in the next step the last record within each parameter we would pick the record with highest eval and if there existed more than one record with highest eval we would have picked the earliest state record. Now so we in this step we are actually doing that. So we are filtering we are using max01 data set as input and then creating max02 and we have indicated to the data step that our records are sorted based on use of JD, paramen, eval, descending, ADT. And then we are picking or subsetting the last record within each parameter of a subject. So these would give us the actual maximum records. So on that record, so what we are doing here is we are assigning the A visit and value to 99 and A visit value to maximum value post baseline and D type to maximum as per the specification. So let us take a quick look at max01 first and then max02. So here if we see, so these are all the post baseline records for all subjects and parameters. And then within this, so we have picked the last record within each subject and parameter. So the, not the last record, the record with the highest eval value and if 
we had more record we have given preference to the earlier state record we have subsetted those records so these records would have correspond to our maximum post baseline records and then we have overwritten the values from whichever was becoming the post baseline so the a visit value is being assigned as maximum value post baseline and then a visit and we are setting it to 99 and then we have populated d type as maximum so these are the set of newly created records now so what we need to do in the next step is to just append these new records to our original records which were present in vs02 now let's see how that is being done so here we are doing that here and creating a data set called vs03 and then sorting that data set based on u sub jd param and a visited and adt and then finally i am creating a data set called output and keeping only the required derived variables and then also ordering the variables using retain statement so if we take a look at output data set now so we'll have all the required records appended to our source records so let us quickly cross check the for one subject and parameter if our a visit and uh, which corresponds to maximum uh, a visit value maximum value post baseline is correctly picked so let's filter for subject 1001 and filter for systolic blood pressure so if we see the maximum value we are uh, identifying it as 142 so and this must be the max, uh, maximum post baseline value so here let's compare our treatment start date with ADT so how many records are there so this record is our baseline record the ADT is on 29th April itself so we have two records after 29th April one on 13th May and one on uh, 13th October so these two records will have to we would have to check what is the highest value so the highest value across these two records is 142 so this record is now becoming our maximum value post baseline record as expected so this is how you will be able to manually cross check also when your derivation is working correctly or not and finally we save the data set and this completes the derivation of our identifying the maximum or creation of new records to hold the maximum value across post baseline records thank you for watching and keep learning